Thanks. Now, the United States International University, Africa, has signed a service provision agreement with Acon Holdings for the provisions of student accommodation, thereby entrenching the idea of investment in student accommodation as a mainstream and viable product. USAU Africa's Vice Chancellor, Professor Paul Zeleza, also presided over the official opening of the Kwetu Abadea Heights, which is a new block of students' residence located right next to the university. Alex Mwangi reports on the heights that Acorn Holdings is scaling in this new space of investment in real estate. Three, one, two, three. Ah. The opening of Kwetu Abadea Heights marks the start of a long-term partnership between the United States International University Africa and Acorn Holdings when it comes to the provision of decent and high-quality accommodation for students. This is already the largest uh, purpose-built student accommodation portfolio in sub-Saharan Africa, and we are soon going to be overtaking South Africa, actually, which uh, hopefully is a good thing for this country. USIU Africa's uh, on-campus accommodation can house a mere 258 students. When the hostels were built in the early 1990s, that represented a huge percentage of the student body. Today, it's a drop in the ocean. Acorn Holdings has invested over a billion shillings in accommodation in USIU Africa's vicinity in the belief that the current growth potential for student accommodation is exponential. When you look over the next 10 years, what most people don't see is that we have 12 million school-going students who are going to be going into tertiary education in the next 10 years, 12 million. That number is not going away because of COVID or because of the future for higher education and the future for purpose-built student accommodation is very, very bright. I do not even think we can meet the demands that will be there. At the moment, Africans, we are 1.34 billion people. 60% of the Africans are below the age of 25. The development of student accommodation by Acorn Holdings represents a mutually beneficial relationship with USIU Africa. The buildings like this you've seen today, they are extremely capital intensive. This particular place you are today, this is of a billion shillings to build and equip. Now, with that kind of capital outlay, it is very difficult for universities to do this by themselves. It would mean that they move away from their core business of academic and research to start doing student, which is non-core. Our core business is teaching and learning. And the core business of Econ is providing student accommodation. This is a marriage made in heaven. Among other things, Econ Holdings has committed to provide internships to eight students from USIU Africa every year. We serve more than uh, 6,000 undergraduate students from across the globe. Typically, every semester, we have student, uh, students from more than 70 countries. For Econ, the sky is the limit when it comes to investment in student accommodation. It's been a six-year journey. 85 million dollars down and today we have 3,000 operational beds including about 700 here in this building 500 across the road so a total of about 1200 beds uh, around uh, USIU we also have a construction pipeline of about 7,000 beds that are going all around uh, Nairobi Alex Mwangi NTV